Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ken. Uh, you might know me as Ken Pay ID. I just thought I'd put together a quick tutorial on how to spin up a Pay ID server and generate a um, a test Pay ID on the test net. Um, just for for my own benefit, my own practice, and just for anybody who might have been having confusion with how to do that. So uh, I'm on the payid.org website right now. And to do this, the way I did it was I just went, I clicked on start building and they give you some uh, getting started notes. And uh, in order to, to execute this, you have to have a few dependencies um, already downloaded. So I'll take it that anybody that's, that's ventured into uh, generating a test net um, a pay ID has done these things. If not, just go to these white papers and read them and they'll tell you what you need to equip your computer with. Uh, so I'll just take it from there. You got, I'm on a Mac. So I'm gonna open up a terminal and I'm just basically gonna follow the directions. Um, to spin up a pay ID server, I've already got Docker installed and uh, I need to, I'm, I should be in my main directory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up the pay ID directory. I'm in it and then uh, I gotta run this command. npm run dev env up. Okay, that should spin up the pay ID server. Okay, that's done. And then once the server is running in order to get a pay ID, so I'm going to use an XRP ledger. Uh, they have a couple of different calls. You can call the XRP ledger or you can call the Bitcoin test account. So um, I'm gonna use XRP. So I would co copy this bit of code here and then uh, go back to my terminal, paste that in. I'm going to change the name to my name. It says it's been created and now you go down past this Bitcoin create code and you, here's how you request your pay ID to see if it see if what you generated is actually working so for the one that they had for Alice which I changed to Ken is this guy here I'll copy that bit of code and then uh, paste it in and then what I'm gonna do now is change Alice to Ken and then your response should contain payment okay so we have that environment test net we have that address details type crypto address details address details and then they have tag and then the address I have the address and then tag but all the information that's supposed to be here, according to uh, pay ID, is being returned by the server. So it has been created correctly. And that's it. But right now, this is just testnet stuff. It ha it's not really live yet, but at least it allows us the opportunity to kind of get familiar with the commands. If you found this video helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll be back as soon as possible with more videos on the fintech space. This is Ken Carabello. Take care.